welcome all welcome back at uh, i need help at cisco in this example we have uh, the half-life of radium 226 which is 1590 years and we know we a sample contains these 500 milligrams how many milligrams we will have after 3000 years so just looking to this idea i can kind of guess an approximation we start for 500 and milligrams in 1590 years we have half of this that's what's the meaning of half lives oh if you do it one more time 1590 right so that would be more than 3000 but just as an idea we get 125 milligrams so my answer should be around this guy uh, not this one by the way but uh, I kind of have an idea just doing this thing so how can I find the exact value well, we're gonna use this equation which model this situation and in this one uh, I can use something like this let's say the amount of radium it's equal with a sub zero this is the initial amount and then b to the whatever t let's use t instead of x which means time years right and we know a zero here a zero is this 500 milligrams this is the initial value okay so we have here a equals um, 500 b to the t but now we really need to find that b and for that reason we're gonna use this idea of half life so uh, after 1590 years we have half of that 500 250 okay equals 500 this is the b we need to find out and what is t t is 1590 so again what i did here i model for half life and that will allow us this equation to get the b of course we're going to divide by 500 no surprise here i think we're going to get 1 over 2 or 0.5 equals b to the power of 1590 and now we need to find b of course we may want to raise to the power of or take the root but i think this looks better right in my opinion I mean, and it's easier to do that in the calculator by the way okay so we have b equal and now i'm gonna have that one over two or 0.5 you can put either way in the calculator raised to the power of 1 divided by 1590 okay and I get this value which probably I, I will suggest you to keep it in your calculator I'm gonna copy the first four decimals and I'm gonna round it up to the, this gentleman okay so this is the B but like I said I will keep it in the calculator eventually and now we can go to the second part where are we gonna find the amount after 3000 years right because now by the way we have the equation that model this situation a equals 500 times this b 0 0.9996 to the power of t and now that's the thing i'm going to do here 500 times this b lucky me i think i still have it in the calculator to the power of 3000 so it's about just grabbing the calculator and finding this value and like i said if you kept it in the calculator that's good raise it to the 3000 power and then times by 500 i end up with this amount 135 grams and point two 
okay? Which I think makes sense if you take a look to my initial thoughts, initial process here. I said, hey, I should go close to this guy. Yeah, that sounds pretty decent. If you enjoy this example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-Square for more help. Thank you.